Bikers revved up their engines to ride today, benefiting Chelsea Johnson's family. Nine News reporter Jessica Knowles shows us how a 90-mile ride is helping a family heal. Everybody ready? For me, this was to keep her in my heart and mind and hopefully in the heart and minds of other people. Phil Johnson says it takes a unique person like his granddaughter Chelsea Johnson to ride. Somewhere in your heart you have to be a free spirit in order to ride and that's what my granddaughter was and there was nothing any more fitting than uh, to have this ride. Nearly 50 bikes revved up to remember the Fairfield teen who was found stabbed to death and left in a creek about a mile from her home after going missing in April. She just loved life and for it to be taken uh, in such a brutal way that it was at 15, it's, I just can't comprehend it. I keep waiting for her to come through the door one of these times, but it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. He spent most summers with his 15-year-old granddaughter who wanted to be a veterinarian. I was cutting grass uh, with a riding mower one day and I didn't note it, but she had found, because uh, rabbits build a nest right underneath the ground where they have the babies. And she come out screaming and throwing rocks at me to get my attention for me to stop because she was afraid I was going to run over the little rabbits. So I had to cut around it and the grass grew up uh, a foot tall till the babies got big enough to move and then, then I was allowed to cut the grass. It's memories like those that will accompany him on the road ahead without Chelsea. She was my best buddy and uh, I'm going to miss her so much. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get over this. Jessica Knoll, 9 News, Florence. Yeah, how would he? In addition to the bike ride this morning, they're also holding a silent auction with live band, food and drink at the American Legion in Florence to raise money for this family. Police say the man who sent Johnson text messages the day she disappeared is being held at the Butler County Jail.